Mr. Puigdemont, your fellow separatists are on trial in Spain. You are the leader of the Catalan separatists, but you're not there. Wouldn't it be the right thing for you to return to Spain and face justice there? Sorry, President. I, I just want to make uh, something clear. Mr. Puigdemont left uh, uh, Catalonia before the charges were presented by the Spanish prosecutor. And the charges were, and this is very important because sometimes abroad people don't have it very clear, the charges were presented on the 30th of October 2017, accepted by the court on the 31st. In, in Spain, the 1st of November is a bank holiday, and on the 2nd of, of, of November, everybody was called to appear in court. We have appeared in the name of Mr. Puigdemont, and we have informed the court where they are, where they live, and we have done in parallel the same to the Belgian authorities. So here nobody has hidden from, from, the, from, from the justice, but on top of that, the fact that we have been able to challenge the European arrest warrant in Belgium, in Scotland, and in Germany is the only guarantee that the people who are today facing the trial would have not been convicted in long time. And if there is anything that it is stopping the Supreme Court from doing something even worse than what it has been done, doing until now, is the fact that we have legally internationalized this conflict. And as a matter of fact, the investigative judge in Spain has withdrawn not once, but twice, the European arrest warrant. If you check with Europol and you we see that no country has ever withdrawn a, 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 an, an arrest, a European arrest warrant because they were afraid of the resolution. A democratic state present a, a, an arrest warrant and go up to the end. Spain has withdrawn it twice, and when they present the third, they will draw it back, for sure.